G'day, it's Al from River Connect. And all week we've been asking you, where's Waddle? Well, as you can see, I found some. I went for a drive. I'm down here at Tassica Reserve, which is on Kittles Road. And it's a, been a National Tree Day and One Tree Per Child planting site for a number of years. Lots of volunteers and lots of school groups and kids and adults and everybody have been down here planting trees. And I tell you what, you would not believe the amount of wattles. Let's have a look. So this section was planted probably two or three years ago on National Tree Day, but also by some uh, Notre Dame College VCAL students. Here's a section that was planted probably four or five years ago. So it's got a couple of years up on the earlier plants, but you can really see everything starting to take the form of a bit bit more bush life, isn't it? And we come around to the more recent plantings. In the foreground here, they'll start to look like that eventually. Okay, here we've got a couple of golden wattles here. They're probably about, I'd say, two or three years old. Have a look at the beautiful, big, fuzzy flowers on those. Got some friends in here. If you do get a chance to see a wattle, why don't you sneak up to it nice and slowly. Have a look how many pollinators are there. I can count five already. There's a hoverfly, there's a bee, other little flies, I've got no clue what they are. All the way on that one shrub. Okay, this one is my, my favourite. It's a gold dust wattle and really they're my favourite because they just become so absolutely covered. This guy's still got a bit of flowering to do but look, look at the density of those flowers and still more about to pop out. And then you've got the beautiful colour of the trunk. Gold dust because it looks like someone's just sprinkled a handle, handful of gold dust all over them. And this one's a Mallee Wattle. You can see that the leaves are just slightly longer than they are on a Gold Dust Wattle. And still a bit of flowering to do on this one. And this one's a grey mulga. Looking closer at the leaves, you can see they've got a greyish tinge to their green. This one's getting close to finishing its flowering. Okay, have a squiz at this scary looking fella. Not flowering yet. This is what we call a hedge waddle. I'm going to zoom right in on your prickles. Have a look at that. If you built a hedge out of that, you won't have any garden prowlers, will you? I've got one at home and I tried to weed around the bottom of it and I just got so many prickles. Great for little birds. There's a lot of little wrens and robins out here, and these are great hiding spots for them so that the predators don't catch them. But I can't wait to see that guy in flower. Getting ready. Check out how soft and fluffy they look. They look like little flop balls. It looks like I should be able to just jump up and curl up in this big carpet of wattle flowers have a little nap bet you that's what the bees do hope you've enjoyed this little video of the wattles of tassica reserve but do yourself a favor and come down and check them out for yourself